forgot I was here. What was I doing out here? What do I need for bandits? Am I still gonna rob $50 from the townsfolk? Still have to disarm three enemies, my goodness. A hard challenge. Oh shoot, really? Oh yeah, I got the different horse out because I'm about to go commit some crimes and it's gonna be. Oh, hey, heavens. Oh, something else. Be quite an issue. Oh, I have actually zero dollars. Actually nice zero dollars. A magic or might type character, really? See, is there a train close? Maybe I can just go sell some stuff at the general store or something. What's it to be? Game has liches. Oh, like you can turn your character into a lich? Is it the is it like a classic like uh, you can choose good or evil? The good and evil ending. Back so soon? Any train tickets? Trains are currently still unavailable. What the flip, man? Thanks for your assistance. Wonder if trains are unavailable because I blew up that uh, blew up that bridge. One of the most interesting promotion Well, you're making a pretty hard. Uh, You are making a compelling uh, case to make a lich. Right through that fence. Hey, what the hell you think you're doing here? Chillin', what are you doing? Trot along now. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. 
Dude, I'm still wanted, dead or alive in San Denis. Thought I got arrested here. Don't tread on me, I literally tread. <laughs> wow, look at that useless cop right there. Oh shit, this is, I still need a hundred dollars to pay for this electric chair, <laughs> dang it. Oh boy. Will this stagecoach take me anywhere? Was this necessary? I'm looking for my friend. Gavin. Crime certainly is not paying Gavin. for me in this in this Hi room. There, <laughs> Gavin. Please take a pamphlet. It might just change. I already chased down that eugenics guy. Right. Page coach is currently unavailable. Hold on, no, it's not. Um, go to the Van Horn training post. Thanks, buddy. Bien boom, boom. Boom, boom. Closer to the camp. Dang it. Go talk to Leopold Strauss. No, before I said I wanted to wait it wait before I could talk to him, but uh, I think now's the time. Come here, boy. You too, boy.
Good horsey. This is looking dangerous. Ooh. Come here, buddy. Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just standing. Hmm. Just get up. What? Get up. What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. <laughs> I gave him fifty dollars I didn't have. Place is on edge. Seeing the sense of this Strauss is loaning, Arthur throws him out of the camp. I wonder if there's a because there are options on whether or not you actually you actually uh like forgive the dead or or absolve the dead and stuff like that. Is there an option where Arthur does not throw him out of the camp? I'm not sure. Ooh, Edith Downs. Do that one later. This one, well, see if I can make it up to Wapiti. What? I don't like waking up in this place. You okay, Jack? Is Mr. Strauss gone? Yeah, he had to leave. Sorry. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it. Hi, Jack. Let me. Bacchus Station, Fort Wallace. Probably travel to Fort Wallace. Let me see. Oh wait, I can travel straight to Wapiti.
That's a nice shot. Why is the Charles mission not unlocked? Hmm. Maybe I have to leave the camp and come back. Let's ride down the road for a second and come back up here. I agree. It can get a little wonky in spots, but it really looks really good. Arthur. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's a uh, he, he's very Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Thank you, Jickies. He has earned the chief's friendship. Perhaps he means well. Hello? <coughs> Come in. <coughs> Mr. Morgan. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Yeah. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. Yeah. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. In any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. He does not mean well. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. Go, Charles. I ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me.
So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> <coughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I... I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation. And that's for Dutch. <sighs> I gotta try. I own that at least. Gotta try. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No, come on, don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. <laughs> well, it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. <laughs> you still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Charles is a champion, dude. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh. You were right about the damn rain. Mm hmm Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rainfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This Jeez. is gonna be nice. Fort Wallace. All right. This should be fine. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. Whew. I guess it is. I don't know about you guys, but I can't imagine myself just sitting next to a tree waiting for nine hours for it to get dark. That's crazy. What do you even do? Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. Good. Let's make our way around the back. Stick to the wall. There's a 
guard right above us. Two more. One in the tower, one on the ground. Same as before. You take one, I got the other. You need to sharpen those wood spikes. No, I missed. What are you doing, Arthur? <laughs> I failed. Yeah, so that's a failure. Oh man, I missed. Oh no. <laughs> you blew your cover, I sure did. I gotta pop this hat on real quick. No need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. This one's mine. <laughs> Lurk, all right. It's all good. We'll never get past these guards. Get up that tower and try to distract them. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Okay. 
I missed. Missed again. I don't know how I'm missing, but I am. There we go. Sent us. My father, he told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... <laughs> of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. <sighs> oh, it's time. my hat.
got him. Hard. Oh my gosh. Fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. I'm fine. Let me take you back to your phone. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. No mind. Yeah. A bronze. Man. While infiltrating Fort Wallace, headshot every single soldier blocking your way to Eagle Flies. Kill 15 enemies while escaping the canoe in 80% accuracy. Dang, I must have been just barely off some of those. It says escape to go back. There we go. Okay. We're just outside Valentine. Dutch back at camp. OH. Who's OH? Obadiah Hinton. Let's head to the Hmm. I 
want to stay at that hotel, but I need money. What if I just camp out here? I camp out here in the rain? I can, finally. Not something that tells me that there's too much activity in this area or whatever it usually says. And you know what? I could take this opportunity to travel to... I think Annisburg? It's where what's her name is? Edith Downs. Bum -bum. Mama, Mama can't leave, or won't leave. I, I don't know, I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right, I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out, working, you know? I'm sorry, son. <gasps> sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. I don't know why it's telling me to go... Oh, no, wait, never mind. That's just my... My... Waypoint taking me back to Valentine. Hey, slow down! I guess I'm following the wrong trail. Is this the right trail? What? That's enough now, partner. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. 
Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Listen. Listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was, uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> You loved him. You did everything for him. Let's get you home. All right. Let's go. Oh, Mrs. Downs. Someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Do not seek absolution. I need it down within one minute, ten seconds. Huh? I got the achievement for completing all optional honor missions. How do I check my honor? I think it's pretty good right now. Let's check my mail. You think you can keep from beating folk this time? Can't receive my mail. I guess that's that. No trains are available. Is that it? Still. So I won't be completing that like burglary mission. For the challenges I mean.
Hey everybody, we made it into camp. I'm actually going to go sleep, change my clothes, then we're going to start that mission. Let me actually sleep first. I don't know. I have only played 6 through 8 as well. <laughs> we're going to find out. It's mostly, I mean, Ezlis has said it, and then I've heard other people say it as well, that it, MM9 is a sort of a disappointing follow-up to 6 to 8. Oh, that restored everything. No. But I think, I guess we'll find out. Let me change my clothes. Be the rebel. And let's shave. We can cut all our facial hair off. Do the Abe Lincoln. Do a goatee. You know, for once in our life, let's take all the facial hair off. I don't think I've ever played an Arthur with no facial hair. Got the whole gang hanging out. Why are these two still here? Old pals of Michael, they're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vandalin, Mr. Morgan, Charles. They try to kill my people for oil. For oil. Today we ride once more. Ride with me. Ride with us. Ride with us against the factory. I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness as your chief. I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me! Now! Stop. Please. Stop. Please, Mr. Morgan. After you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow? Arthur, please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. 
Charles. Who else will come with me? No, oh, all right, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about? Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. Let's ride, boys. have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. You think that didn't work? Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? Handed them a death sentence. Just like John, if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Yeah. Tahiti? Pimbuck too? That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah. What did? Thank you, Javier. Bill, right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. That doesn't look good. Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Somebody help no. him. No, go. Please hurry. I'll be. Come on. these men and anyone see eagle flies there going across the walkway got what you wanted dutch you coming arthur i'm gonna try and save him this fight is unwinnable you go and distract them and let me get to him have it your way the rest of you ride with me let's meet up at the factory let's ride yeah! go with him try and help there i'm better off alone we're riding with you come on then Pump out on my back.
All of you. We need to go. Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick. <laughs> Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get to the factory now. <laughs> this war is just the Dang, somebody saved me. I think it was Sadie. Generate. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? <laughs> what is it? I don't get you. Don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money. You fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. 
He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free. Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. I know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. I got some cash. Not much. I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. Safe bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there, Arthur. We're nearly there, Mr. Morgan. Let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. should be come on we need to go you you ran away oh, I did no such thing don't be a fool they could be back here any minute we did it gentlemen well we got some money and with the train job but well, we got a whole lot of money come on everything is coming together Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually he is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare! Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to what PG as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men. Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry about this. It's like I was talking about. So, what were you saying? My <laughs> friend. My friend. <laughs> it keeps restarting because I'm out of range from them. About this, about all of this. Dutch. 
Duchess. I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. They should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you, your people deserve better. What's going up with the trees? You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some, some reason to it. What were you saying before? Now, I was saying... There used to be some... There used to be some... There used to what be What happened to the voice line? Something so going on with it. to what you were saying. <laughs> I think it's because we lost Peta. There used to be some... Back to what I was talking about. <laughs> there used to be some... Some reason to... Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be. I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. It's like guiding me to the left, trying to get out of it. <laughs> I definitely, I, sh I haven't taken as many screenshots as I probably should, honestly. My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Hey, no worries.
drink. Drink this. Just a minute. Besser Englisch Sie haben uns gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber. That's the German couple from earlier in the game, where you saved the dad from being kidnapped. Saved Peta, 80% accuracy, but I didn't get 30 headshots, the only one I was missing, man. The other half is split between gang members who work the job. Out of the train. Go back to Dutch Vanderland. Shoot, I think those are bounty hunters or something. Just slide down into camp. restore my cores. I don't remember what this next mission is, but let's at least clear all our stuff. Well, at least you ain't run off. He's a good guy. A real good guy. Sort of a, a modern day hero. Strong, tough, dumb as rocks. Like a like a, a cowboy in a little book. <laughs> I'm only kidding. He's a warrior. Straight up uh, killer. We've had some scrapes together. Rescued me from a hanging. Got shot up by a bunch of southerners. Lot of fun we had together. Back in the day. <laughs> Ain't that so, Arthur? You want to say something, punk? Time of my goddamn life. Just two old buddies, ain't we, Mike? No bad blood from me, cowpoke. Is that right? Come here, cowpoke. Take you down. Hey, mister. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. 
I think Here's some aunt uncle. As well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards, Arthur. Cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't. Something want happened to with his eye they back there once gonna... for one, like one second. <laughs> this is a tough time, and you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And I'm always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan we rob uncle sam and we leave <laughs> the poetry of it all what do you think it sounds wonderful hell yeah i ain't got much to lose but you know the women and the children and John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. I don't like the way he said that. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. He insists upon it. Get this done. So listen, Abigail just told me the money—it's hidden in the caves in Beaver Hollow. 
What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. All right, Miguel and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. Hasn't it always been one last train? Maximum horse bonding. One last time, gentlemen. I got us a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Guarma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. All coming together, Gutch, just like we planned. That okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now. That's a yikes, Micah. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Not much further now. Way along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop a train. Here she comes. Adios. Sneak on now. <laughs>
Dutch. There was like vibrating there. This is just about near the end. It is a pretty long game. We're near the end of the main story and there's even an epilogue afterwards. It doesn't help that I've been playing it, you know... It doesn't help that I've played it along with, uh... Along with Daggerfall, which is, you know, which is fairly long too. 
you know, only two hours at a time for two or three hours at a time for a little bit. Oh shit. We're alive, just about. Well, let's move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. <laughs> what up? He did. He got shot and fell off a train we were robbing. Gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and <laughs> Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah, he does. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll, I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me. I realized I had never, uh, I had never completely shaved his beard, so I thought I would. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. Oh, God, those goddamn bastards! Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Now he don't care if he orphans his French child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Before he went crazy. Yes. Sure. I guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea. Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> and Eagle Flies, 
Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. What's left of it. Now come on. Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. Easy. Hmm. Oh, with my guns on the horse. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get Oh, I got my shotgun still, it's good. Unscoped, so I can't like a good. I could unscope and get like a full account of who's out here doing what. Can't shoot. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen.
down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Horrible man. Now come on, both of you. I'm fine. Hold up a moment. Arthur, there's no time. There's time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Listen. No. We got Jack. He's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler, 
will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That she was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> One last ride, boys. Let's get into it. At least the end of the main storyline. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Lung, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you, 
Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John! You left me! You left me to die! My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you? You pick your side now because this is over. All them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> now! <laughs> Who amongst you <laughs> is with me? Who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! Gosh, they're running away. Okay, now. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie and Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. I 
what happens if I turn around and try to kill him. Down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but <clears throat> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Now I know what happens when we help get John to safety, and that's what I usually do. But I want to see what happens if we go back for the money. Now you see where he got his hat Get out in the first game. I'll see you around, John Marston. Be safe. just flew away. Both of these endings are, um, there are only minor differences between these two endings as well as your honor level, so. It's not super, um, it's not very different, but you'll see what happens.
Under a wagon. Wait, is that it? My car! <laughs> $42,000. I also think that amount can be different based on how much work and money you, you give to the gang. But still, $42,000. Jeez Louise. Is it really more than five million dollars? No way. <laughs> I'm gonna slice you up. Dirty rat. Come here, Maka. You're right, that is a ton of money. I don't know how that didn't afford us, you know way to get out but that's this is 1899 Come on. You're a liar. I just sliced his neck he should be dead right now I could you bitch I have definitely sliced his frickin' face 64,000 times in this fight. He should be dead. Look. Look at that. <laughs> $1.2 million. How did that not... I guess that's part of the storyline is Dutch is greedy and doesn't necessarily want to leave or anything like that, but... That would definitely be enough for the, the whole gang to escape, buy some land, the whole thing. Oh, you got me pretty good, Black Lung. Come on now. Let's I got his eye. Stop this. Both of you fools. He's turned, Dutch. I told you. He's turned. He no. came back here to rob you. I didn't turn, Micah. You did. Tell Dutch what you said to Agent Mountain. Shut your mouth. You're talking nonsense. You're the rat, Micah. I'm Molly, dude. Him. Help! You're dying, Black Lung. Yeah, you're dead. Inside, you're dead. Come on, Dutch. Let's get the money and get out of here. 
Dutch. Let's go. It's nonsense. Of course it is. Rest in peace, Arthur Morgan. Some years later... That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hardworking men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books, then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. <laughs> boy. Sorry. All right. What was that? I said you're a bad So my, my understanding is that you have the choice of helping John get out or going back for the money. Either way, Arthur encounters Micah and dies. Your honor level determines how he dies. So having good honor is he succumbs, he wins the fight, succumbs to his injuries, and passes away relatively peacefully. If you have negative honor, Micah wins the fight, shoots Arthur in the face, and laughs and gloats over his corpse. So... It's pretty hardcore, yeah. But that's kind of the way it is. If he tried, you know, through the ending parts of the game, if he tried to, if he tried to make amends, then you know he gets a more peaceful death. But if he continues down his path of evil and re and revenge, then he dies by the sword, so to speak, and Micah kills him. But once we get to a, I'm gonna switch over to Might and Magic 9 soon, so I'm gonna find a good stopping point and save point. Those names. Just a little bit here. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Right, so I went back for the money, but I, I had good honor still, so. Him and I fought it out, and I technically, 
I mean, I technically won the fight. I, I took his eye out, and he fled. And then my, and Arthur just passed away more from his injuries and his illness rather than Micah specifically killing him. Well, so Arthur always dies. Help you, son? And now uh, for the you. epilogue you play as John. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy. We was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here, get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> Kid whipping his hand away from his mom. <laughs> Come on, Jack. still look okay to me. Hopefully none of them are broken.
Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! Take that horse if you need it. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. That's my damn wagon! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Near horsey. <laughs> Come on. Bow, bow, bow. At least they drive it back towards the ranch. <laughs> well, they drove me right back to the entrance. That's good. They're just walking away. <laughs> Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. Work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But <laughs> we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Feels so, uh... I guess just a sense... Modern sensibilities. Feels weird that he could just disappear for a day. And his wife and kid are just like, yeah, it's cool, you know? You stay here, we'll go get her tomorrow. She's gonna hang out around the town for the entire night. Epilogue Part 1, Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, 
All right. <laughs> Claim the wagon within one minute. <laughs> All right. Take all his facial hair off. Give him a mustache. Kind of a weak mustache. Let's stick with it. <laughs> yeah, it almost did. He did lie about their names just because they, you know, they don't want to get caught. Perfect. Well, we still have the epilogue to do. I, from what I remember, the epilogue is like five to ten hours of a uh, of story or so, and it's pretty fun. So, go ahead and save here, and let's switch over to Might and Magic Nine. I think it depends on how long or how long you take, but it, it is like five to ten hours. There's a good, there's a fair amount of missions, uh, and it is long. It it tell it's the entire story le that leads into Red Dead Redemption One. It's the uh, it connects the connects the two tales, as it were. All right, give me just a moment. I'm going to I saved. Let me switch over to Might and Magic 9. I'm going to start up Might and Magic 9. Actually, give me just I'm um, give me like a 5 minute I'm going to take a 5 minute break. And uh, go get something to drink and stuff. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 